Hi, I'm Paige Murkowski and I'm the owner and designer for Aviator Nation. December 4th, 2009, I opened my first flagship store on Abbott Kinney in Venice. After having the Venice store for a year and a half and it doing so well, there's a lot of pressure, I think, to make the sequel, you know, like something that's just as good or not better. I'm here at my new Aviator Nation store. I'm about to open in Manhattan Beach. It's our first expansion out of Venice. I've always loved Manhattan Beach. Um, I grew up surfing here. I would be happy if we were open for Friday night. So that's my goal. The staff really needs to understand that this week is going to be very unpredictable. If we have to end up working into Friday or we maybe would be done Thursday night, I don't know, but that's the goal is to be open Friday night before First Friday gets crazy over there. And there's definitely some pressure on the team members. I have people that are very young that are doing very important things. Carly Kay, Audra, Marissa, and Graham. So I want you to make sure that the clothes are tagged and prepped and everything is good to go. So I'm going to need everybody, like, all hands on deck this week. We have a 1,600 square foot store and you have to completely bring it to life in a week. That's a lot to be done. The grand opening party is going to be on Saturday, but that's going to be really fun. But obviously, I know we're, I know we're going to be super tired after getting all this stuff together. We have to somehow build this stage that I want all lit up. We've got to get the mural painted. We've got to get the wood wall put up, shelving built, racks built all the paint. Are you working or you're playing? <laughs> Both. The girls that work for me, are they love their jobs, they love their life, they bike to work every day, they surf in the morning. So many of the girls didn't know each other before they started working for me, and now they're best friends. I have an idea. Uh, let's go to the beach. Sweet. Beach break. I would like you to be a little bit more involved, especially in the final hour. You told me that when it's in time for inspection, you just call them and they come right over. But it doesn't sound like that's the case. This whole thing is a major project. There's going to be a lot of surprises, I'm sure, and we just all have to be ready to act fast. This kind of stuff? Yeah. I mean, can they be a little more careful? He's like, well, I want to get the work done. He's mad at me for moving stuff in there. And I'm like, well, I want you to get the work done, too. You're supposed to have it done three days ago. I decided my next purchase is a massage. It's 24 hours before the store opens. There's just so much that has to be done before we can even move the clothes in. Now to your left, Dad, to your left. Right there. And we have 67 boxes to go through. We were here until 6 in the morning folding clothes, merchandising. It's going to definitely be down to the wire. We've still got so much to do. You can't be cautious when you're starting a business. If you fail, you fail. You make mistakes, you make mistakes. Just getting out there and taking a risk is like really the main part of it.